Hi guys, welcome to your brand new video. Today I'm going to show you how you can install Windows 11 on unsupported hardware without any registry edits, just the USB. So if you have older hardware, you can't install Windows 11, or so you think. On the Microsoft website, it says that you can install Windows 11. However, you'll need to do some tweaks in the registry edits. And to be fair, there are enough guides on YouTube already to show you how to do those edits. But if you're lazy like me, you can just make one bootable USB with one simple program. I'll show you how to do it. In the newest Rufus version, Rufus 3.18, there is a new option if you make a Windows 11 bootable USB. And that's actually the registry edit on themselves. This program does it for you, makes it in that bootable media, and you don't have to do anything. So now I'm going to show you how to do that. So you'll need to install two things. First of all, you'll need to install Windows 11 from the official uh, Microsoft website. You can just go to the ISO, select multilingual or multi-edition, I'm sorry, select your language. So it's important to choose the language which this is installed in your computer. So in my case, that's Dutch or Netherlands. Just press on OK or next or whatever. And then there's your download link. Download that one, can take a while, it's around five gigabytes. Second of all, download Rufus. It's quite easy. You just go to the website, rufus.ie, and you'll see here Rufus 3.18. So we'll download that and we'll open it. So right here you'll see that you can select an image. So I'll select an image, in this case, Windows 11 Dutch. And then, in my case, you don't see it right now. But when I plug in a USB, You'll see my USB is right there and it gives me this option. Standard Windows 11 installation or extended Windows installation. So if you are using a PC which is older than the supported hardware from my, on Microsoft's web page, select extended Windows 11 installation. You just press start after that. Well, it says it's gonna format everything. No worries, that USB has always been used for uh, hmm. What did I use it for? I think other Windows installations. And just let it do its thing. So right now I've put the USB in a laptop which is not supported because you see it has an i5-6200U which is 6th gen and everything from 10th gen and up is supported by Microsoft. So I'll go to the USB, see it here, and then I'll open up the setup. I'll press yes. And let's see what it does. So right now it says that you can install Windows, but right here it says want to change how the updates get downloaded. Press on that and say, not now. I don't want the updates right now. I'll just want Windows 11. It says it will check the PC and then that, uh, that it will need to prepare a few things. And when it's checking the PC normally, it will say, well, the, the hardware is not supported. But right now, as you see, we just went through it. We'll just press on accept. And right now it's preparing the installation. It's right now checking if I have enough space. And it says, well, ready for the installation, Windows Home, uh, Windows 11 Home, and all the apps and uh, stuff I have will be kept. So there will be no erased data. However, I always just back up your data. This is a laptop which I recently formatted, so I know there's nothing on there. I'll just press on install and there she goes. So right now, this is the end of the video. I'm sitting on the floor. It's uh, late, you only see the reflection of the TV. But this is the end of the video. This is how you install Windows 11 on unsupported hardware. If you have any questions, leave them down in the comments down below. And if you wanna see more of this, just subscribe and please let me know in the comments as well. I wish y'all a very nice day.